input output tables, complete the table. So this input output table looks a little bit different than ones you might have seen before. This one has three columns. So this one is the total, so that's our largest number, our number of groups, and our amount in each group. So the way we can kind of look at this is like a multiplication equation. So it would be this times this is going to equal our total here, our total. Or I could write this as a T for t equals and then our number of groups times the amount in each group. So if we look here, we have 28 equals something times 7. So how many 7s fit into 28? So we could count by 7s. 7, 14, 21, 28. Well, that would be 4. 20 times how much equals 40. Well, 20 plus 20, or 20 times 2, equals 40. 5 times how many equals 55? Well, 5 times 11 equals 55. And 5 times how many equals 60? Well, if 11 is 55, then 12 is 60. So 4, 2, 11, and 12. 4, 2, 11, 12. Same thing here, we're gonna have our number of groups. So four times what equals 12? So four times three equals 12. Five times what equals 45? Well, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I counted nine times, so five times nine. Four times how many equals 48? Well, 4 times 10 is 40, and 4 times 2 is 8, so that would be 12. And 5 goes into 60 how many times? Well, 5 goes into 50 10 times, and then 55, 60, so that would be 12. So 3, 9, 12, 12. Number of groups times the amount of each group equals our total. So 3 times what equals 9? Well, that would be 3. This one would be 9 times what equals 18? Well, that would be 9 times 2 equals 18. 5 times how many equals 25? Well, that would be 5. And five or 10 times what equals 50? That would be 5. So 3, 2, 5, 5. Number of groups times the amount in each group. So two times what equals our total? So two times nine. Here we have two times what equals 22? Well, that would be 11. Here we have something times 12 equals 24. Well, that would be two. And two times something equals 52. Well, 52 divided in half is 25, or 50 divided in half is 25, so that would be 50, or 26. So let's do 9, 11, 2, 26. Now here we have 18 equals blank times 6, well that would be 3. 26 equals blank times 13, that would be 2. 33 equals 3 times 11. And 54 equals something times 27, well that would be 2. So 3, 2, 11, and 2. Now we have the same thing where we can make this look like a multiplication equation. 20 equals blank times 4. Well, 5 times 4. 35 equals 5 times 7. 38 equals something times 19. Well, that would be 2. And 40 equals something times 10. That would be 4. So 5, 7, 2, 4. 5, 7, 2, 4. Now we can do the same thing again, Make put our equal signs to our total. So something times eight equals 32. 
8 times 4 equals 32. 7 times what equals 35? 7 times 5 equals 35. 19 times what equals 38? That would be 19 times 2 equals 38. And 3 times something equals 51. That one's a little bit trickier. That's going to be 17. So 4, 5, 2, 17. That can't be right. Hmm. 17 doesn't seem right because 17 and 17 makes 35. So let's look here. If we actually have 51 times 3. Well, that's right. It's times 3. So 17 and 17, let's just double check, is carry the 1. So that's 34 plus 17. Well, yep, that equals 51. So 4, 5, 2, 17. Now let's complete the table here. We have uh, 8 equals 2 times what? That would be 4. 15 equals 3 times 5. 18 equals something times 9. That would be 2. And 36 equals 3 times 12. So 4, 3, 2, 12. Twenty equals something times ten. Well, I know that twenty equals two times ten. Twenty-eight equals two times fourteen. Fifty-five equals five times eleven. And sixty equals three times twenty. Last one. Let's see if we can do it again without our scratch pad. We have five times something equals forty-five. That would be nine. 56 equals 4 times something. Well, that one's a little bit trickier, but I know that 56 can be split up into 40 plus 16. So 4 goes into 40 10 times, and 4 goes into 16 4 times. So 10 plus 4 is 14. 19 times how many equals 57? 3 and 20 times 3 equals 60. Correct. Nice job.